What's going on guys, Isaac here once again, and you might be wondering, do I sound different? Yes, I do, and that's because I'm sick. So, uh, yeah, I haven't put up a video in a couple days because I have unfortunately caught brachitis, which I always do at this, you know, time of the year. But, I do have an awesome Medieval 2 Total War video for you guys. And you might be wondering, why is this French general hanging out with all these Pavis crossbowmen? Well, no, it's not a French joke, it's just my opponent decided to put him, well, in his archer. You know, crossbow line. I don't know why he just decided to do that. Uh, I've known quite a few people did that. I've done that before in other battles. So I don't know if it's a new mistake or just a common mistake. But we're going to look at my opponent's army first because a little surprise got me off with my army. So he has four units, probably these crossbowmen. Uh, four units of Aventuros. These are awesome pikemen. Four units of dismounted uh, Portuguese knight knights. Wow, did I say this was France? This is actually uh, Portuguese. Or Portugal. And he has four units dismounted conquistadors and four units of feudal knights which are really heavy cav. Now let's go look at the second stage of my army. I have four units of dismounted Polish knights. I think that, yeah, they have swords and whatnot. I have two units of peasant archers, two units of spearmen, which are really good spearmen. I don't know if they're better than armored sergeants or what, but they look really awesome. Their shields kind of look cooler. Well, of course, my general's bodyguard. And now getting over to the main contingent, contingent I have four units Polish guard they are really heavy cav I have uh, one two three units uh, who's ours and three units of Polish retainers oh and uh, one unit of Polish nobles which is basically javelin cav yes I did bring kind of a cav spam I knew that you know Poland has well, really good calf, and that's about it, so why not bring calf? But I was kind of scared whenever I saw all these pikemen, so we will see how this battle turns out. So first of all, on his left flank, I'm going to go ahead and move these Polish nobles out to the side and kind of harass these uh, feudal knights. He actually goes for it. And I realize I cannot win a battle. Never think you could win a battle, no matter how good your infantry is. And we got all these guys coming up against you. And so basically, at the same time that I'm harassing these guys, and they go for it and, you know, get a couple javelins in the back, I'm basically coming back here, clicking one at a time what units I want to attack. And I'm doing this in walking pace, then I run them. And so it's just one huge attack. So all my Polish guard go after his uh, right flank with two units of feudal knights. We are going to watch this charge up close and personal. This can be painful. And yeah, that's a pretty devastating charge for those four crossbowmen. And I do get caught up on his knights, but eventually I will get out. He's doing a good move here with his pikemen. But I charge all my Polish retainers and my huzzahs out of there. Now on this fight, or this side, I'm basically winning this knight against his feudal knights very easily. And at the same time, I should have been doing this sooner by moving my army up and pressing space, trying to see, but then I realized Medieval 2 is not that advanced. And so now, I think I can do a pincher maneuver on his feudal knights with my uh, Polish retainers and a uh, unit you know, hussars, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and charge all these guys in here. And he sees it a little bit later, and he... Uh, uses a spikeman and tries to save him, but that unit basically destroyed at this point in time. And I will eventually, hopefully, pull out after he stabs me with a couple pikes. I like how his men pull out the sword instead, that's a brilliant idea. And basically now it is just a, you know, redo your line shoot some javelins at these people and he decides to chase me with a six cav I don't know I don't remember Our men are under what he attack. does with that we must act now now here's the rest of my guys and you can see part of this flank coming over but I'm gonna focus on the left flank and probably should have charged these guys hopefully I'll charge them now yes oh yeah they wait 
they started to rout as soon as one guy died. I don't much blame them. Now these guys, I think, are just getting shot up. I kind of forgot about these guys. My retain or Polish nobles, I mean. And I think they're actually out of arrows. Yes, they are out of arrows. So I'm just gonna send them. I know how well they do to get against Javi's crossbowmen, but let's we'll see. Well, they got decent charge. They stab that guy in the back of the head. So what's this? A dramatic change in what's what you're looking at? Well, yes, of course. We changed over to my left flank, and here I am doing a very devastating charge in the uh, arrow formation that did not help me in any way, shape, or form. But I did a nice charge against the Speedo Ninth, and I will effectively win this, not only because he's out one, uh, outnumbered, but he's also out outmatched, I believe. My units are a lot better than his. Here you can see he used his pikemen, tried to, well actually he did force out my hussars, but that's fine by me. I did a hit run anyways, that was my entire plan, take out his archers, which I already talked about. Here I'm using two units of hussars to help in this fight, and did a little bit quicker. I should have actually took the time to turn them all around, or take them all the way around and attack from the rear and make these guys route a lot sooner because uh, they're already shaken. Yeah, both of them are shaking, so they would have routed very quickly. Like I said before, I am moving my men up at the same time. Should have done it sooner, but I didn't. Here he's uh, moving over a unit of feudal knights that he didn't want to get destroyed over there on my right flank. And here, doing a smart move, starting to move his pikemen in against my cavalry. And uh, this is the fear I had of those guys some reason that guy's not going down. Now he does. About time he does. But let's look at it, look at it from my army's objective. Our I can men see. Are under attack. We need to act. Uh, thank you so much, advisor. Uh, I can see his pikemen are facing this way. Uh, that's fine by me because my dismounted Polish knights would love to meet these guys. Actually, uh, unit of Polish guard do route there, but I do believe they come back eventually. And you see, his units would not break. So they have really high morale, even 13, and they're both 13 units uh, each, but that's fine. I'll take care of them in just a second. But here I'm charging in my dismounted Polish knights against his stupid adventaries. They get stopped because they actually form up the spear wall just in time. If I take these guys in from the side, they're screwed. Like, there's no chance for them to survive after that. And here he does. Smart thing. Good. A little bit of microing. He decides to pull these guys out. Charge in his dismounted Portuguese knights. Uh, don't know exactly who would win, but my Polish guard decided to come in from the side, and that's not good for him. I attacked his stupid pikemen with some of my horses, and because they cannot form a pike wall, that is going to go in my favor. And here, my spearmen. I I'm tired of these darn horses, so I just charge my spearmen in, and they are going to wreck those guys those last couple units. What I'm doing on this flank, my left flank, is the main fight's over here on uh, his right, or my left flank actually, I keep getting those mixed up, is I'm just trying to distract this part of his army. So see what he has to do, he has to move his spearmen over here and try to guard, because he thinks I'm going to smash into him. You can see these dismounted Polish knights are fighting with the dismounted Portuguese knights. And uh, once again, it's this whole who's more dismounted kind of thing. Here I actually route those puppies cross women with my 21 guys, and that unfortunately for him was his uh, general's unit. That's quite hilarious. And so now I'm just gonna go up around, chase after some of his puppies cross women with uh, all my light horses. Still don't understand how this is working for the moment. Those guys, for some reason, go into fighting to death. However, they were routing. That's kind of pointless. And eventually, I will turn these back guys back around to deal with this very annoying melee fight. So, Only just kind of and, uh, what are these? Dismount Portuguese Knights. I'm not sure how they would do against my Dismount Polish Knights, but, eh. And he actually sets up his line of Advantaries, you know, Spearmen, or Pikemen to make sure I don't charge him. And so I'm gonna make it look, oh, am I gonna charge him? No, I'm gonna go over here, have fun with that. And he tries to do something about it. Yeah, that didn't end up well for him. He does move his guys over here, but that's fine. They'll take a charge from the side, die pretty. He's trying to form up a 
you know, pike wall, not doing the best, and using my archers, who are completely free to attack anyone they want, and just shooting into these giant masses of Portuguese, you know, conquistadores and whatnot. Look, that unit breaks because they were in bad positioning, and here charges the spearmen. Let's, let's watch this charge. And boom! GG spearmen, or pikemen versus spearmen. I should actually do a test to see which one is more powerful, pikemen or spearmen. And here I am, just once again, outmaneuvering my opponent, because this is what I have to do, and the enemy are I realize that. Thank you so much for telling us men. that a lot of people have died. But, essentially, I have a lot of light horses. Uh, technically, I only brought four units, plus my general bodyguard of heavy cav. And actually, is this my general over here? Yes, he is. He's giving morale support. Look at this. He's standing right in front of these stupid Polish knights, and he does not care at all, because they route right there. See how little he cares, but you see, out microing my opponent means that I am able to free up more and more troops, and look at all these arrows coming in. That right there caused that entire unit of 47, 46 dismount feudal knights, or conquistadores, I mean, to route. Now we just have a unit of, uh, I'm pointing right at it. Unit of dismounted conquistadores. What's this quote unquote fighting to the death? You can see he's doing a lot. Yeah, he did a lot. I hate it, the whole fighting to the death thing. Wow, he just got smacked in the face. Just got bitch slapped by a sword. That looked painful. And this is now the part where the entire video comes to get it. And here, basically, I have the upper hand. I have all this cav left over, he has no cav, very few units left. These darn spearmen are retreating for some odd reason. See those conquistadores are uh, routing off the battle, no doubt because of the archers I had that were flaming them from the back. And here, I'm going to actually charge into these guys who decided to, he tried to fall back with these guys, not the best idea. Our men are Probably should have just stayed in there. If we continue like Here this, he's actually going to charge these poor the Huzzahs, and because they are like Cav, they don't do the best. They look pretty awesome. Uh, you actually look at them? Stop moving. I'm trying to look at you. Yeah, look at that guy. Looks pretty awesome. And here he's just going to set up a battle line, which I don't care much about. I could probably just stay back and just shoot him with arrows, but I'm going to go ahead and attack with my dismounted Polish Knights and my spearmen up on the side. My spearmen want some of that action. And notice some of his dismounted conquistadores and pikemen have also come back, and he is going to try to stop them. Lord, Does it somewhat merciful. successfully? We have lost half of our oh, men. Those four horses stand a chance, but uh, yeah, once they pull out their swords, they're screwed. Look at all those horses. They just get ran over and wiped out. And so eventually, I'm just going to try to overtake all those guys. And here. Once again, Conquistadores holding out, last contingents of them holding out. Uh, everyone else has basically left the field except for these two last units. Oh, he actually had some pikemen in there. I thought I got confused with those flags. But uh, let's watch some of this action. Pikemen versus Conquistadore, or Spearmen. What, what are you called? Yeah, Spearmen versus Conquistadore. Ooh. Next spearman! Come on, you can kill him. Or not. I really hate how they made him so crappy. And here, yes, those conquistadores did break. In our favor. If we remain true and, and steadfast, instant victory route. will be ours. Or actually, they didn't break, I'm sorry. They are still over here. I decided to abandon that, do a nice little hammer anvil. This should technically break them. I'm sure they're not enjoying that charge very well. And let's see, 13, all yes, civilized finally. All civilized will be awed by the victory we have won here all today. All civilized people. I have no idea what he means by that, but okay. Oh, and he fell at the last second. He tripped and fell. See, we're, we're not actually fighting. We're just here to help him up. So, uh, go ahead and look at, what am I, the, uh, wow, battle statistics. I actually deployed a lot less men, and a lot of them were expensive cavalry units, uh, Believe it or not, they were actually quite expensive. And I still don't understand how I won this, but let's look at the uh, 
actual battle statistics. And look at the kills. Uh, 57 of Polish Guard, wow. 63. Uh, 84 of my Hussars. That's actually really awesome. 84 Polish Retainers. Yeah, they mopped up quite a bit. Polish Nobles got 63 kills. As compared to like, well, my Knights got quite a few kills as well. And you will see. You know, well, you already saw in the uh, my left flank how that went. As you can tell, this medication is making me somewhat loopy, and I probably shouldn't be making videos. But I will continue making videos until I am well, and then I will continue making videos even after I'm well. But uh, what did I do right, and what did my opponent do wrong? Let's talk about this. So cab spam versus uh, all these poor pikemen who are dead here, and all these poor cavalry that are also dead here. Not all of those are mine, though, luckily. Um, I completely outmaneuvered my opponent, and I got him to waste a lot of his time. You notice that quite a few times his pikemen just stood there and tried to guard from hammer and anvil strikes. Yeah, that was totally fine by me, because I knew on my left flank I was winning, because I could just completely engulf him and do uh, cycle charges, and he, he was totally powerless to do anything, so he probably should have tried to withdraw a little bit more, reorganize. Um, two lines of pikemen backed up together, that's probably not the best positioning. Uh, another huge mistake was, of course, putting your general in, you know, a crossbow unit. Don't know why he did that, don't know if it was a mistake or whatever, but hey, that's his decision. If he wanted to do it, so be it. I might actually do that as a challenge video sometime, put my general in a archer unit. That sounds like a terrible idea, but I will do it eventually. Uh, Essentially, he had the army to win. He had those dismounted noble knights, which had the huge pole axes. Yeah, they could destroy cavalry really easy. They do a lot of damage. Uh, really bad against charges, though. Keep that in mind. Conquistadores, they have really, really good armor. Uh, probably could have withstood a lot more charges. So, had he played his cards right, he, of course, would have won. But somehow, I pulled out a quote-unquote clear victory here, but good game to my opponent, Mark9669. Uh, it was really fun playing that, and once again, I'm still confused about how I won that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, it really helps me out. Also, nice to see some new faces around, seeing some more people commenting and whatnot. That means a lot to me. Uh, and, of course, I will catch you guys in the next chapter.